Hello and welcome to the fourth video in this Java series for beginners. In this video we're going to be looking at Boolean expressions and how we can use them to uh, manipulate our code, do different stuff depending on different outcomes. So first let's learn the syntax behind Boolean expressions. In the last video I briefly showed you the Boolean variable type, which looks like this. And this value here is either a true or a false value. And let's look at the way we can initialize this value here. So if I make a Boolean variable called A, and then we can set it equal to something, uh, this uh, equal doesn't have to be true or false. It can be any expression uh, involving another Boolean or a mathematical expression that will produce a true or false uh, answer, basically. So I'm going to show you all the different operators we can use, first of all, uh, for this. I'll put them in comments up here. For mathematical operations, uh, the most obvious ones we can do are equal to. We can do uh, greater than. We can do less than. We can do not equal to. And these are the mathematical ones we can do. And I'll put uh, in the comments here how we represent these in terms of the syntax. So when we're checking if something is equal to, we simply use a double equals like this. You may have seen this in other programming languages or not. Uh, you'll notice it's pretty similar to when we put a single equals sign, but don't get confused. The single equals sign means assign the right hand value to the left hand uh, variable. If we put a double equals, it changes from assigning the value to checking the value. So that's just one thing to be aware of. So we have the double equals for checking um, if one statement on the left is equal to the other statement on the right. Uh, we have greater than, which looks pretty much the same. We use the greater than symbol. And uh, there's also, uh, you can also have greater than or equal to. I'll just put in brackets there. Actually, that might get uh, confusing. I'll just go ahead and add a whole new comment. So we have uh, greater than, we have less than. Uh, they look uh, as normal as you normally would in mathematics. Then we have greater than equal to. And we have less than. If I could spell equal to, there we go. And let me just uh, tab these out so we can see them easily. Okay, so greater than equal to, we use the greater than symbol and then simply the equal symbol like this. This checks if the statement on the left is greater than or equal to the statement on the right. Less than or equal to, we use much the same except obviously the less than symbol. And then we have uh, not equal to, which we represent with an exclamation mark and an equals. So we have the equal to, uh, checker, which is the double equal sign. We have greater than and less than, which are look more or less the same as they normally would. We have greater than or equal to, which are pretty self-explanatory. Same with less than or equal to, and then we have the not equal to, which is the exclamation mark and the equals. So with all of these different operators, we can uh, basically make equations uh, and then assign it to a boolean variable and the equation has to, we have to make sure it either returns a true or false value and as you can pretty much see using uh, any or each of these it will always return a true or false value so if checking if something is equal to something else that will either return true or false it will be equal to or it won't be equal to uh, for greater than uh, the number will either be greater than uh, or not greater than it will return true or false and the same for everything down here. So let's go ahead and set up a system out print line. And let's go ahead and put our value A in here. So we're going to print out either true or false depending what this is. So let's go ahead and use uh, some of the operators here. So we can say if uh, 2 is equal to 2, like so. And that may look kind of hard to read. You can always add uh, brackets around it if it's uh, if it makes it easier for you to read. I will actually keep those there just because it makes it easier. Uh, you can always use brackets in Java 
to uh, make your code more readable for uh, you could use them for mathematical equations, but bear in mind brackets will make a difference uh, in terms of the mathematics that you're doing. So uh, obviously operations in brackets will always be done first and then the ones afterwards, the ones outside the brackets will be done. Uh, so we have a Boolean variable called A and we're setting it equal to, we're setting the value on the right equal to the variable on the left and the value on the right here is equal to whether two is equal to 2. I hope that makes sense. So obviously 2 is equal to 2. This statement here is going to return true and store it in the variable a. So when we print this out here, uh, we're going to see true. So you can see we have true here. If we change this value to 3, for example, uh, is 2 equal to 3? Obviously that is false. So we can see uh, false is returned. And that's pretty self-explanatory. We can do this with every other operator. I'll just do quick demonstrations. So if 2 is greater than 3, obviously false. Uh, if 2 is less than 3, obviously that's true. And same with uh, less than equal to. That will obviously return true as well. Uh, if 2 is not equal to 3, that is true. So we're going to return true. So you can see how we can use all these uh, operators here uh, to create true false statements and then we can store them inside variables here. So how can we actually use these boolean variables once we've got them? So we can make things called if statements and if statements are the one of the most fundamental things you'll be using in uh, any programming and it's basically a statement that says if a condition is true do this piece of code and then later on we'll look at else statements uh, where if it's not true, we can do a different piece of code. So the syntax in Java for if statements is very simple. You simply write the word if. You can see it highlights in blue. It's a built-in Java keyword. Then you can uh, open uh, normal brackets, parentheses, like so. And then we will open and close uh, the spiked brackets, much like the ones we use for this main method here and much like the ones we use for the class. It's these same uh, spiked brackets. So this is what the if statement looks like. Obviously, we haven't actually put a condition in yet. Uh, so if I just uh, tab this in, so we're basically going to have if condition is true, we're going to do this code here. And obviously that, this isn't a comment, which is why you're seeing the errors. And I'll actually comment this out here, just so you can see the syntax for it. And I'll leave these comments up here just so you can uh, reference them. So this is the syntax for the if statement. If a condition is true, then do this code here. And if the condition isn't true, simply the code inside these brackets won't be run. So let's go ahead and do probably the most basic one we can do. We can say if true system.out.println uh, condition is true. Now, obviously, if we run this, we're going to see this statement here because we've put if true so java is saying if the statement inside if the condition inside the if statement is true then do the code inside the brackets here obviously true is true so we're going to see this here if we go ahead and write false if false we can run this and we won't see anything because the condition is not true the condition's false so the stuff inside here will not be run now the uh, the things you put inside the in these brackets, the condition, it can be um, as much or as little code as you need. So you can either use a preset boolean value, for example, a, like so. You can put the value of a in here. You can not just set a to true, you can set it equal to mathematical equations like we've done. So if 11 minus 1 is equal to 10, for example, this is an equ this equation here is either going to return true or false. We're saying if 11 minus 1 is equal to 10, bear in mind we're using the double equals, not the single equals, because uh, we're checking if 11 minus 1 is equal to 10. We're not assigning this val we're not assigning this here to this value here. Uh, so if we run this, we'll see we get it. Condition is true. Um, we can also just write this statement directly into the if statement. We don't need to 
uh, have a sort of helper variable like this. Although it is, uh, this is easier to read in your code, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, so we can say if 11 minus 1 equals 10, like so. And we can do any amount of uh, equations in here. So hopefully everything in this video made sense. In the next video, we're going to be going over more in depth how we can use the if statement. And we'll also be looking at a few more uh, Boolean operators.